Welcome to this edition of the Tahoe Real Estate Show. We're here at the Olympic Village Inn in beautiful Squaw Valley, USA. Today we're going to go talk to the sales department about the different real estate offerings here at the Olympic Village Inn, as well as go out to beautiful Kirkwood to talk about the different real estate holdings that you can get your hands on this year. Welcome back to the Tahoe Real Estate Show. We're here in the clubhouse of the beautiful and historic Olympic Village Inn with Greg Rankin, longtime North Tahoe resident and sales manager at Resort Realty Services. Now, Greg, let's just talk just kind of personally about you yourself. You are a longtime local here in Lake Tahoe. How did you get here and why do you enjoy Lake Tahoe so much? Well, I, um, I'm going to date myself a bit here. Um, I first skied Squaw Valley in 1958. And I've been coming here all my life. I was raised in Northern California, and uh, summers, winters, I've been coming to Tahoe. 30 years ago, my wife, Mary Margaret, and I decided to come here for one season and never left. Um, I still ski Squaw Valley regularly about 50 days a year, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a magical place. Yeah, it's, it's such a unique area to be able to uh, grow up and live in, uh, definitely a unique area to have a business in. Now, uh, you're a part of Resort Realty Services, so what exactly is that here in Lake Tahoe? Well, Resort Realty Services, uh, we were formed in 1985, and we now have um, six offices here in the Tahoe area. Um, we have three on the North Shore. We have uh, ones on the South Shore. We actually have two offices here in Squaw Valley. One of them, of course, right here at Olympic Village Inn. Now, you guys kind of have a unique niche here in the greater Lake Tahoe real estate market. What is that niche? How do you guys define yourself among all the different realtors? Well, when the company was first put together, we decided that we wanted to cover all aspects of the real estate market up here. And at the time that we started, there were new products that were coming into the market. Um, you know, of course, you have the single family homes and condominiums, but now you have condo hotels, you have fractionals, you have timeshare. Well, we deal with all of those. Right on. And then what do you see as the condition of the overall real estate market going on right now in, in the North Lake Tahoe Truckee real estate market? Well, just like all other areas, we've been affected as to what's been going on in the economy. Um, but it, uh, you know, our, our prices are have been coming down and that's been uh, the result of short sales and uh, foreclosures. Um, but, you know, people often ask, well, has the market bottomed? You know, that's a hard one to say, but I think if it hasn't, I think we're close to it. And we don't have an excessive amount of inventory available. And I think that there's going to be a time where those short sales and REOs are absorbed and hopefully we're going to see prices starting to move back up again. Greg, thank you for giving us your insights. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back more of the Tahoe Real Estate Show, we're going to learn about the best opportunities for the real estate market here in the Lake Tahoe area. Welcome back to the Tahoe Real Estate Show. We're here with Greg Rankin of Resort Realty Services. Now, Greg, although the market might not be in its best shape, there are a couple of segments that you're really enthused about in the real estate market. So uh, what are a couple of those products? Well, it's interesting. There's, a, there's all segments of the market right now offer very exceptional opportunities, um, mainly because prices have come down a lot. Um, you know, the... Uh, for example, lakefronts. We have lakefront homes under $2 million. We haven't had that in a long time. But one of the areas I'm particularly excited about is entry level. We have homes in ta in, out in Truckee for under 400000 We haven't seen that in a long time. We also have fractional ownerships now down under 200000 under 20000 under $20,000 for someone to get in a real estate opportunity. That just mm -hmm. seems like a crazy deal. So can you elaborate maybe a little bit more on the fractional ownership and then the price and what they're getting? Well, fractional ownership is, um, you know, can be in either a condo or in a single family home, but it's X number of weeks a year, anywhere from three weeks a year to eight weeks a year. And um, it, the prices, as I said, have dropped. 
um, primarily because fractional financing dried up, which caused prices to then come down. Well, now with some fractionals as low as $20,000 or below, people don't need financing. And who it's for is the person who wants to own a vacation home, but is only going to be here three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks a year, or something like that. They don't want the commitment of whole ownership. Yeah, it just seems like an opportunity for someone who doesn't want to jump all the way in to owning a full-time real estate opportunity to just have this fractional time where they can own. And then uh, what about timeshares? What's your take on timeshares? Well, timeshares and fractionals are basically the same contact. Uh, it's just timeshare is a smaller number of weeks. And the other advantage with timeshare, too, is that people have the ability to use timeshares not only in one location, but through an exchange network at 4,600 resorts all over the world. And what we've seen with timeshares is prices have also come down, um, but at the same time, we've seen the product improve. And what I mean by that is um, Resort Condominiums International, which is the largest major exchange network in the timeshare industry, has greatly improved what they offer. They have uh, created a new points program which offers much more flexibility and much more availability. Um, the result of that is that um, our sales activity at the various timeshare resorts that we represent here in the Tahoe area um, has gone up during this recession period. So it's a very kind of exciting time to get timeshares maybe back into the market. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, more of Greg Rankin and Resort Realty Services, more specifically about timeshares, and we'll find out a little bit more about home groups when we come back. Welcome back to the Tahoe Real Estate Show. We're back here with Greg Rankin of Resort Realty Services in the beautiful Olympic Village Inn here at Squaw Valley, USA. Now, Greg, we did talk about single-family home ownership as well as fractional ownership. And uh, let's talk more specifically about timeshares. We're here at the beautiful Olympic Village Inn. Are these timeshares? Yes, Olympic Village is timeshare. And Olympic Village Inn has a, an interesting history. Um, it was originally constructed as the housing for the athletes for the Winter Olympics in 1960. Um, the, what are now 400 square foot condominiums uh, were dorm rooms that, housed, that had bunk beds that housed basically eight athletes. And uh, there were, they didn't have restrooms in their unit. There was a common restroom on each floor. And uh, so it was quite a bit different than what it is today. Um, in the early 80s, it was converted into a timeshare resort that it is now. Um, it has been sold out since 93. Um, it's a very well-managed resort. Um, it's a beautiful property. We have uh, one-bedroom units with kitchenettes. We have, uh, in the, we have wonderful amenities here. We have a swimming pool. We have... Um, five outdoor hot tubs. We have uh, the rec building that we're in now that has a children's arcade, a workout room in it. Um, we have dry heat sauna. We have beautiful grounds in the non-snowy time of year that uh, we call it a water garden that has meandering creek going through it with uh, beautiful landscaping. It's a very well-managed resort and uh, our owners here are very, very happy. Yeah, Greg, you guys have the old style charm of the Olympics, but with a beautiful facility and fantastic amenities, I can see why you guys have been sold out for 15 years. So why do you still have a sale office here at the Olympic Village Inn? Well, because there's always a turnover of inventory. And this is a very popular resort in North Tahoe. Um, sales activity has been real good here. The, uh, it's a great product. People can get more than a week's worth of use out of their purchase. They can have access to um, the other four properties that are a part of our home group, and people can get involved at this property for as little as $29.95. That means $2,995. That so, is an incredible deal. That's something that you don't even need to finance. A and you said home group. Now, now, what exactly is a home group? There are the, the three highest rated timeshare resorts in the North Tahoe area are Olympic Village Inn, Red Wolf Lodge Squaw Valley, which is right here in the valley, and then Red Wolf Lakeside Lodge in Tahoe Vista. 
those are connected to two other resorts in South Lake Tahoe, the Stardust Tahoe and the Americana Village. That's what's called our home group. Somebody who becomes an owner at one of these properties has direct access to all of them. Absolutely a great place here at the Olympic Village. And I always like to say trust a local and uh, you've been here long enough where I definitely trust you, Greg. Thank you for taking the time out for talking to us. Greg Rankin of Resort Realty Services. This has been your edition of the Tahoe Real Estate Show. Thank you for joining us. So that's it for this edition of the Tahoe Real Estate Show. The next time you think about second home ownership, remember the Olympic Village Inn here at Squaw Valley, USA.